already done the gingival mask scan. The gingival mask is what's been in, poured up in pink. Um, now we can remove that so we know that uh, once it's removed we can actually visualize the seating of the tie based sleeve onto the implant uh, platform. So let's go ahead and just remove the tissue moulage or the gingival mask pretty quickly and it opens up and now we can see the platform. Uh, double check, it's blue, so we know we're having a 5.0. That's what's nice about Nobel. It's color co coded. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the tie base sleeve from its box and have a lab screw. The tie base has a connection piece that goes into the implant, and then the, above it is the sleeve that you're going to either cement the abutment or actually cement the full contoured crown. Since we're doing a full contoured crown, that's what's going to be cemented in the lab around that area there. Um, it's hard to see on the, on the screen, but there's a little uh, positive bleb or a little outcropping that's going to indicate um, how to put the scan body on and orientate it correctly. So if you see here, I'm just going to go ahead and put it into the trilobe connection. You just turn it, turn it until it slides down appropriately onto the platform. And what I'm looking for is where that little sleeve outcropping is, and it's right there. You could apply the screw. I recommend a lab screw, not the one that came in the case, because I'm going to use the one in the case as the final set screw. Um, go ahead and screw it down, and you'll see that the platform and the tie base connection is flush. That's why it's important to do a gingival mask. If you did not, and you were guessing, you would not know that's fully seated in the lab. So if you remove that gingival mask, it shows you and gives you that window. Now that it's seated, we're going ahead and get the, the scam body. And for the Omnicam, it's um, gray. You can use the white one too. I haven't had a problem with it. But it's a, a little cap that's going to slide on top of the tie base. Notice there's a triangle. I'll show you a little bit better when we do this scan um, on the machine. But the triangle is an is a, uh, isosceles triangle. The two long sides point to the little positive outcrop. I'm going to take that little outcrop and marry it up with the tie base that I put on and it's going to snap down right on there. And so what we're going to do is make sure that that's fully seated and looks like it's good to go. Once I have that seated, now let's go ahead and take it back to the Omnicam scanner and let's go ahead and scan it.